dependent. So this first one. One coin is tossed and then a second coin is tossed. Is that independent events or dependent? Independent. Independent, right? So no matter what. So I'm going to get the same answer. I put an I. Okay, the second one. Wednesday's lottery numbers and Saturday's lottery numbers. Independent. Right, so it doesn't matter what they were. So they have the same outcome. They're not dependent on each other. Well, we hope that they would be. Depends. Depends. Right, a card is selected from a deck of cards and not put back. Dependent. Dependent, right? So it's going to no change chance. the outcome of the other one. There's no chance of getting all of them. Exactly. Perfect. Dependent. Is there a way that we could find, like, kind of a situation like that? Is, is there a way that we can find the chance of picking one card, putting it back, and then getting the same card in the next draw after shuffling? Okay. These are just for you to have. I think this is confusing, but just know if you have an independent situation, what you do is you take the probability of both events and multiply. So it's the same the probability of A and B, you multiply the probabilities and then you get your answer. For dependent, it's the same idea. So you take the probability of your event A, and then you have to figure in what's going to change with B, and then multiply those. Okay. I don't really like formulas because they're more confusing than what they really are, so we'll just jump into some examples. A coin is tossed and the die is rolled. What is the probability that the coin lands heads up and the number rolled is a six? So they're independent. They're independent, right? So what is the probability of the coin flip? Right, so how many options do you have? Two. So one over two. Times, and what is the chance of rolling a six on a dice? One out of six. And now we just multiply. How do you multiply fractions? Cross. Cross. So 1 over 12. Suppose you toss a coin four times, and what is the probability of getting tails four of those? What, Allie? One half time. So I'm flipping it four times, and what's the chance of getting tailed every time? One half. A half. So here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, you could just like So would that, would that be an independent or a dependent? Independent. Yeah, because it's right. That's right. You can't like take something out and not get back. Exactly. Okay, what's two to the fourth? So you know, like, do you guys have any friends that have like four siblings are just like girls? A four siblings just boys? It's like, really rare. Four, one, 
I got two there. My two my half siblings yeah. are thirty-two yeah. now and thirty, yeah. and my step siblings are thirty and three. Yeah. yeah. It's they really like, they, like they line up perfectly. Yeah. But like they can't be counted. But then you know See what Chad has to do. He has three quarters, five dimes, and two nickels in his pocket. Find the probability he'll pull up two quarters in a row. So that's so, not, so that's dependent because you did not pick the back, right? Okay, so let's decide. Independent or dependent? Dependent. Dependent because we're not putting it back. It would have to tell you that. Okay, how many total coins do we have? Ten. Ten. You have a one tenth chance. How many quarters do we have? Three. So three tenths. Okay, so that was for the first round. That's two tenths. No, you want no two nights. Nine. Oh, nine. It's two nights. It's two nights. Two nines, because if I take a coin out of my pocket, how many coins are left? Nine. Nine. And assuming I pulled a quarter, how many quarters would be left? Two. Two. I got it. Just two. Six over ninety, and then you always want to reduce. You guys want to try the next one, you're on? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Try it. Cards. Wait, we need cards. Neither the first one is second card. Diamonds. How many diamonds? Ten. 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 Conditional probability. So we're going to be given a situation and we're going to know something is true and then we're going to find the probability of it, okay? So let's read here. Mr. Carlson is organizing the gym class into two teams for a game. The 20 students randomly draw a card number with consecutive integers from 1 to 20. Students who draw an odd number will be the red team. Students who draw even numbers will be on the blue team. If Monica is on the blue team, what is the probability? So we already know that Monica falls in this category here, right? So ten, but she's still like has an equal chance. Yeah, but it's conditional probability since we know she's on the blue team. We're just focused on the even 
even numbers now between 51 and 7 to 20. Because how many even numbers are between 1 through 20? 10. 10. 0 0.1. She had a 1 in 10 chance. You're gonna try Kahoot. Woo! Just a single day. Oh.